The key here, when we think about how to actually sell ourselves, is not talk about the destination, not talk about the achievements, the accomplishments, list your resume, and everything that you have been able to gain for yourself in life, but instead, sell yourself by talking about the journey. What did you do along the way? What were the doubts you had? What dragons did you slay to get there? How did that goal for yourself actually become a reality? And what made that a goal in your life instead of just talking about the destination, talking about how you got there actually makes you not only appear more confident, but it makes you more charismatic when meeting other people. And that is also something that I, as a public speaker, see a lot at events like TEDx and, and so on, where people will say, well, that speaker was really confident. Like all of the speakers were really confident. And that is true. They're definitely, I mean, it takes definitely takes some confidence to be able to stand in front of a couple of thousand people and give you a talk. But the reason these people are perceived rightfully as confident is that as a good speaker, you don't talk about the accomplishments. You don't talk about, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this. You, you structure your talk by saying, this was my dream. This is what I struggled with. These were the obstacles. Here's where I thought I would never be able to get there. And here's what I worked on. And here was the support that I got. Here's my journey. And ta-da, here's the destination. Here's the outcome. And then people clap and they hear the outcome, but they remember the story. They remember how someone went through struggles and overcame them, how someone had to grow and learned where and how to do it. And then they walk away from the talk and they say, well, that speaker was really confident. And that speaker most of the time spoke about struggles and ideas and dreams and broken hearts. Michael, here's one that you will remember very well. And, and it's dear to our heart because her research in vulnerability has impacted our show. And we use, and we talk a lot about that research and data, but Brene Brown got her start. She did a Ted talk on her research in vulnerability. And unfortunately uh, for her, she had to be vulnerable in her talk about her research in vulnerability. And when she delivered that TED talk, uh, when it came out, it was, it, it was very popular, but she was unbelievably shaken up over being vulnerable on that stage and sharing her work. And she was talking about the journey that she took in order to, to do all of that research. She was so terrified and so nervous about how it would be received that she tried to get TEDx to take down that talk. And it, it blew up because so many people were able to relate to her journey about vulnerability and how uncomfortable she was about vulnerability. And that that propelled her into stardom. I mean, that's how she got her her break, how her how her research became so popular. And Brene now is part of that Oprah circle. And also watching that talk, you'll see Brene shows enthusiasm about her research. Yeah. She shows optimism about what's possible. She's definitely present when, when she's up there on stage. And she adds that confidence piece by talking about the journey as well as the destination. And that just makes that lady incredibly charismatic up there on that talk that she hoped only 300 people would ever see. Yeah. And, you know, it's in, in its existence. And there's a perfect example of this from a client, Matt, in the X Factor Accelerator, who is a real estate investor, is a part of numerous masterminds with real estate investors who've been in the game for 20, 30, 40 years longer than him, who have way more in assets under management, larger developments. And oftentimes in these situations, he feels this lack of confidence. He feels like he can't stack up to those around him. And of course, if he was to just list off his accomplishments and compare those to others, well, he might actually be less confident in that setting. So what we worked on together was, well, what's the story? Because when he was going to mastermind events, people would ask him, why real estate? Or what's your story, literally? And he would often find himself saying, well, you know, I got started a few years ago and, and it's fun. And what we did in working on his story was we decided to focus on the journey, what inspired him to get started in real estate 
and what has his journey in real estate created in terms of an opportunity for him. And what he found was he got started in real estate because his dad was a successful businessman. Unfortunately, his dad was so humble, he didn't even know how successful his dad was as a businessman until he passed and he took an internship in his dad's company. And then he realized everything that his dad had built. So that inspired him to go into business. And after having a few false starts in business, he learned real estate from a mentor and had some success with his first investment. And what he realized on the real estate investment journey was that it actually allowed him to be creative, to tap into his creativity in building deals, finding tenants, and creating win-win opportunities for everyone. And it was that creativity and that opportunity to be more creative that inspired him to carry on in the real estate investment game. Now, in sharing that story at a recent event, he actually found not only did he feel more confident in himself, but he started to get more questions about his journey and actually interest in the deals he was working on. Whereas previously, in going to some of these mastermind events and networking with people, he would find himself being quiet, a little bit standoffish, not knowing what to say, and certainly not feeling comfortable selling himself, as many of us think selling ourselves is listing our accomplishments. So the next time you're in a situation where you might be surrounded by people who you feel are more accomplished, share your journey instead of the destination, and you'll find that you not only appear more confident, but you actually will feel more confident internally. Mm -hmm. 